Hello everyone, welcome to Night Noon for TV and films and video games. So, this is Automatic Heart. So, we're gonna talk about it after part 1 and 2 and 3. But for now, we're gonna play and we're gonna see this machines attack us. So, the story as you know, robots become rogue so things go not quite as planned in this game so it's one of the unique games so let's go and see how it's unique <laughs> Violation of Penal Code 2219. Today at bus stop 34B. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I believe there's been a misunderstanding. Immediate extension of parole by a further eight months. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I can explain what happened. I just made a joke. <laughs> The Chelame complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Mechanic glove. I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> is this going faster? Or this is the speed? I'm not sure if you can play this game as uh, VR2. See the the sign over there? Oh my god. Would and you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh no. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful day. Is that a dog or 
something over there with that guy or that woman. Oh my god, robot is over there. Can you see it? They're fighting with the boxing. Oh, that's a big. Oh, what is that? Good morning, huh. my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. So, I love uh, third-person games, but as first-person, I'm playing Destiny, Call of Duty. Um, they're my best uh, games for uh, first-person. Uh, there's a few I like. Yeah, this is a New Year robot. Huh. Steps right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. Um, I don't know. Should I take this? Get yourself a thought or your luck. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high thought. time you got one. No nah, thanks, I'm just browsing. Why oh, restrict yourself to browsing? No I'm all set. <laughs> Another guy selling the thought device. Hello, lady. Huh, sleeping. So device again. Huh. Okay, movement is smooth. Can I open the door? No. Drones. Uh, no thanks. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Hmm. 
How nice! Stay the robot. I'll go by myself. Me and the guys need to talk about this. Talk, talk. Look at it. Such breathtaking beauty. When I was little, I'd never have dreamed people could soar so high. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Take the capsule. unusual you have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina to activate the scanner just make a special gesture Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. She's like Stand Elysium uh, movie with Ma Matt Damon. <laughs> the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Uh, yeah. To know their things. So. It's coming. He said it's coming. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue. Welcome, comrade. That's some interesting art you got there. You like it? They were made by robots for this festive occasion. <laughs> Yeah, looks like a bot job to me. You don't like it? We analyzed dozens of drawings made by various Komsomol art instructors in order to imitate the style. Please point out what exactly is not to your liking, and we will amend our practice in the future. I, I figured they were drawn by humans. Oh, wonderful. That means we have successfully imitated the output of a human art club. Thank you for the compliment. May I be of service? 
You're celebrating too? Naturally, we are part of Collective Two. For us robots, universal polymerization is our goal. Our duty, even our feat of labor. Would you like me to explain in more detail? No, no, thanks anyway. I'm in a hurry. Addressed by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. That's a lot of robot. Yeah. You know the movie uh, Will Smith I Robot? I think we are uh, in it now. <laughs> This is funny. Today we stand on the bridge of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step Report away to the lobby from of that high rise, Congress Major. Think they're waiting for you. That will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look. And how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Thanks to Comrade my Major. Of the car is waiting. We must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. Wow. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at facility 38. Whoa, this elevator? <laughs> I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all have a seat. You don't have a seat? No. Free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single... You know, one of the things I don't like about the uh, first person, this dot over there. See the dot, the, uh, the white dot? This looks like a BC game. For years, I never play um, a game like that in BC because of this. Science is power because you need a keyboard a and a mouse to play. Obstacles. But Early years pass, no uh, or you're gone, electronic love. things change. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Thanks. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Same elevator? So I cannot go there? Yeah, they're not gonna let me go over there. Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. 
Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right what now. What is that in the sky? I don't know. Something weird. But the, the look of the game is so cool, you know? Huh. So I'm gonna drive a car? Or the car gonna drive me? <laughs> yeah, classic with a new machine time. I'm gonna drive, or the drive, the car gonna drive me. What the heck is this? Please secure your seatbelt. We oh. wish you a very pleasant journey. Uh oh. Yeah. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from one of them. I get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers screw from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> I like this old uh, classic car. Just enjoy the time. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Who we talk to? I think we're talking to a robot? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? You talk to one. Riding turbines <laughs> is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius City like in the air. The fence, but those Over there. flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've so we're talking to a Glove. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies.
This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Nice. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You Why can cannot look up, the up. granite bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department. Nice. The personal project of Trains. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Huh. Nice. Drone order. We have that now, but not that much. The future is coming. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. This is a good history. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. So this game is bought like say Cyberpunk uh, 2077 kind of Watch out. What am I supposed to do about it? What the Whoa. Shit. And this is what happened the rogue Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly How about you? hostile. Oh, no. What the hell are you doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Oh boy. Yeah, the zombie robot now. You're not a zombie? Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... To where? Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, oh boy. Me, comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? You're falling way hard too!
attention. This is an emergency communication. Comrade, wake up! Comrade, wake up! Usually, uh, first person you didn't see the character in a cutscene, so this is good. This is what I like. A cutscene and um, storyline, not just going forward without a storyline. What happened here? Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna. This is our first. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sectionov out. Okay, guys, so... We're gonna fight first, then we're gonna save, okay? Because they are attackers. Stay down. Jumping, okay. Holy shit. Yep. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Anybody! Hey, I you! Can't I'm coming! Breathe. You alive in there? Eesh. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Yourself. Get the fuck off me! What are you Hello? looking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Okay. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? 
Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Uh oh. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Basically? Shit. It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally. We're gonna this beat. Oh, they're coming. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take she is. Uh, she's a comrade. It's jam. Lady, give me a gun. Where'd you get that thing? No give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Rocket! Is it time to smoke? Yeah, before you die, what you smoke. A goddamn clusterfuck. Nice. <laughs> we need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stocker. He was then arrested by the Argentine Union. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. The Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming blade? robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Huh. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. Just turn the handle and open the door. Is that a human? I don't know, let's see. Shit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my god, what is this? One bullet? Yeah. Safe area. Huh?
were a new journal cartoon. Okay guys, we're gonna stop in this safe area and we'll complete later in part 2. Bye. What am I? Need to drive. Oh, you just learned how to walk. Wait, wait, let me sit down.